Good morning, everybody. We're here at Disney's Riviera Resort again. That's it's right. great to be back on property. But this morning, we're actually having we have an appointment this morning. A special appointment. Yeah, we have to meet two mice and a couple of ducks <laughs> up there on the terrace. We're going to be having breakfast again at Topolino's Terrace. Come along, have some fun, have some breakfast, and uh, let's see the characters again after almost four months. Let's go. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I like the stitch theming. <laughs> Our visiting artist, Mickey, and his friends are excited to take a break to see all of you before returning to their studies. We ask that you please remain seated during their visit. And for all you photography out there, have your cameras ready to capture the perfecto shot. Grazie! So in place of the traditional menu, they do have paper slips that have the QR code on them. This is for breakfast, of course. And uh, all you have to do is pull out your phone or your mobile smartphone app, whatever, and it will pull up the QR code. Online, you can see the menu. You can see your choices. Now, we are looking at what's available online. It's a very different looking menu, a lot more limited than the last time we have eaten here. Back when the restaurant first opened last December, I remember the last time we were here, I had both the hash dish and uh, also the steak, both of which were excellent meals, but neither are on the menu now. Now basically we have the quiche, yes. two eggs, sour, sour cream waffle, and a fruit plate. And so uh, not nearly as extensive, option. and a vegetarian option as well. All right, so um, the menu is a lot more limited than it was last time we were here. So I don't know, a little disappointed. I was really hoping to maybe enjoy the hash again. The hash was really good. So I don't know if they've just pared down the menu because of limited time offering because of, like most places that are reopening, they've made them the limited menus. Uh, let's hope that's the case and they bring back some of the other ones. All right, that was only about four or five options. Um, uh, for the adult entrees uh, for kids there's three so um, we'll have to see but um, so let's start off with the eggs I guess just <laughs> the, the basic eggs and, and protein for the most part Susan's having the sour cream waffle yes. gluten free style yeah. even other language menus for online as well including Spanish French and Portuguese just got to remember to flip over the paper Signora Daisy Duck!
so people are still able to go out and check out the terrace. I can see behind you. People are going out there and checking out the views. Yes. Attention! Here in the Riviera, artists come from all over the earth to feed their creative souls. Breaking from his craft, everybody, let's give a buongiorno, a bienvenue, a warm welcome to our patron residence, Signore Mickey Mouse! A poet's job is never done, for as long as there is beauty to capture through their words, they must continue to write. Searching for experiences to inspire her pen, please welcome our poet in residence, Signora Minnie Mouse! Table gets a pastry uh, basket bucket. It's glazed. It was made by Donald himself. Yes. Um, but uh, it's for the table to share. Yes. Unless, of course, your wife has gluten allergies. Then she gets her own gluten-free little goodie bucket. Yes. Which means I don't have to share this one. <laughs> Well, chocolate chip muffins in there, Danish croissant. And I, I'm hoping to find a really good one that has the the apple in it. That, oh man, last time we were here, I really enjoyed. So we're gonna have to dig in to see if I can find it in there. Hopefully, it is down there toward the bottom. We'll see. Okay, so this right now, especially after Disney World opens, is going to be the only character dining option that you're gonna have, at least for the time being. So, if you can get a reservation here at Topo Lunas Terrace, as you're having breakfast every so often, the announcer will come on and introduce each of the four characters individually. Donald's coming out right now. Each of the characters has a skill that they have learned um, and are practicing and studying. And so Donald's coming out at the moment. He's our resident sculptor. And Donald himself will come out and he will make his round around the restaurant. They are not stopping at each individual table. Really and truly what's different than before is the stopping and, and having conversations with each guest. Uh, while the length of the song is going around, they make one loop around the restaurant, turn around and make the second loop right back with the way they came in. Uh, and then each character does that one time. Uh, and then they do a celebratory parade where all four of them come out and dance around the room. Uh, and then they, they just kind of goes to the loop and cycle again. So um, you do get to see the characters quite often, but they don't spend much time at your table. Um, and it is really just kind of a wave. Get ready, have your cameras ready, um, because you're only gonna get really one shot. Um, but luckily, if you're having a nice meal and you're taking your time, that's gonna happen several times. So if you miss them the first go around, it may happen maybe another two or three times before you're done eating your meal. So Donald will be back around in about, I don't know, about 30 more seconds. So we'll see him again. It's the apple one. Oh my gosh. These are so good. It's, I don't know, honey, apple, but this was my favorite pastry from the last visit. I'm so glad it's still here. Oh. It's so sweet and a different apple flavor than you get. Really good. Mm. So this is the gluten gluten free version of the sour cream waffle. That's right. Normally it comes with and a what's couple that on smaller. top of it. That's whipped butter um, that has like orange in it. That was my favorite part of the waffles last time. I don't know if you remember. It's like an orange marmalade butter. It's really really good. 
and then um, like sliced, um, I want to say apples. Just like apples. Yeah, and raspberries, and then we got bacon, and we got some syrup if this isn't sweet enough to begin with, so. the gluten-free waffle. Delicious. Um, as always, it's one of my favorite things to get when we come to a Disney restaurant because waffles are a pain on any day and gluten-free waffle um, batter is always tricky. So it's nice to have somebody else do the work. And this, this right here, that, mm, I can eat it by itself. So, luckily, there's not much you can do to really ruin eggs. <laughs> it is a good fresh egg. I've got mine a little bit over easy this morning with breakfast potatoes, which are seasoned well. The bacon is just how I like it. Really thick, really good flavor. I got a slice of ham. I asked them to do a little half and half. But nothing like over the top crazy different or special as far as this option goes. Um, but it is good. But we're gonna also see about whether or not, in the past, they've allowed us to order more than one entree. Don't share that too likely, you know, don't spread it around everywhere. Don't put it in the forums. Just between us, you know, here, dear, dear magic. <laughs> you might be able to order more than one entree. Try a little bit more than just one. We did last time, we'll see if it works this way, this morning. <laughs> As we talked about, we can't just be happy enough to try one thing. So Susan ordered some of the eggs and I did. I was getting well. jealous watching her eat. So she got a little bit of a second entree, and I wanted to try the sour cream waffle. So look, they were nice enough to bring me a little mini version of the sour cream waffle, the raspberries and the fruit. 
And the orange whipped cream. And the orange whipped cream. Don't even have such a fancy waffle. It's got fruit on it. And then I lost a raspberry. Uh oh. And the, the whipped cream. Gotta have the whipped cream. What you think? Oh, the cream is really good with the orange flavor to it. Just not not used to having this much fruit and freshness on a waffle. I know, right? I'll tell you what, this is a good waffle. <laughs> mm, what a way to start a Monday. So, because the characters can't step by each individual table and do autographs or anything of the like, at the end of every meal, guests do get this really cool postcard fun on the Riviera. A sketch of all four of the characters with each of their signatures on the back. In case you forget, yes, this happened in 2020. But it's a cool little thing to walk away with at the end of your meal. views up top here off the terrace itself pretty spectacular not only can you see the pools you can see the Caribbean Beach Resort you can also see Tower of Terror in the distance Mount Everest Swan and Dolphin almost the edge spaceship Earth. So the gondolas are out on the Skyliner, but they aren't quite moving just yet. Of course, the Skyliner won't open again until July 15th. But at least it's good to see the gondolas back on the line at least. So this is actually, this is, well, really the first major table service dining we've had again since the, the parks closed back in the middle of March. So it's good to be back inside of a Disney uh, restaurant again. Absolutely. Really good to see Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, and Donald. For sure. Because we haven't seen them since they waved to us at the Magic Kingdom the night of the 15th, the last no. night the park was open. So it's been a while, almost four months, almost, yes. but not quite. Almost. So, um, so the, the meal overall, uh, it was good food. It was good. Um, let's say the positive thing is it's always fresh. It's always really good food for yep, the most part. Made to order. Made uh, well seasoned, always fresh uh, fruit. Uh, the the bacon was really good. I like the uh, the ham. Uh, all of it was uh, was good tasting. Uh, the only thing I can say is that because of the fact that they don't have full uh, use of their kitchen because of the limited spacing, yep. uh, we were uh, told that they had to close two of the stations inside the kitchen, which means they can't cook everything they normally do so for therefore social distancing purposes yes so They're even in the kitchen they have the social been, distance yes exactly so that means our favorite or at least my favorite the steak and uh the hash dish two different dishes are not on the menu right now yeah. which to me really was what i was really looking really forward sad. to so um i think the menu is a little limited what well, it is limited but it's missing some of the i think some of the better entrees that we've mm -hmm. had before Hopefully, as soon as we can move back to not having to have the social distancing and the kitchen can fully reopen, uh, I think the, the menu will be back to what it should be. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the other thing is it's really great to see the characters again, the walk around, wave and all that. Yes. Um, it is still a little sad that they don't get to spend much time. They are on a sort of a limited rotation. So they just they're quickly walk by. Too close, they can't not get too close. To for very long, no so. signatures, no yeah. hugs, no getting up close and stuff like that. So really, they just kind of make a brief appearance at your table. Um, that's uh, it, you can kind of see it, and the kids are still excited to see the characters. But at the same time, um, you can also see the idea. Well, wait, they, they're not coming closer. They're not kind of checking in with me. Um, yeah. So it's kind of a good and a bad and a both ways. But. Um, the, I think the one thing is there was a table next to us. They had two little kids there, and one of them was dressed as Olaf. And the family made a sign that says, I like, I like warm, warm hugs. hugs. And it was really hard because you could tell that when Minnie came by and they held the sign up, Minnie really wanted to walk over and she just give them a give hug. Them a hug so bad. But they you can't. Can so tell. it's yeah. just as hard on Minnie and Mickey and the rest of them as it is for us not be able to interact. So, But we do Definitely. what we have to do for the time being. 
Uh, but just be aware of the fact that when you do come, uh, limited menus, limited interactions with the characters, uh, but still a great Disney experience overall. Yes. And right now, I believe, uh, one, if not only, uh, character interaction meal you can have. It is the only character at, meal currently. Listed. At right now for Disney mm -hmm. World at the moment. So check it out here at Topolino's Terrace here at Disney's Riviera Club. And uh, we're going to go have some more fun around as we wait for the parks to reopen later this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day, and we will see you very, very soon in, in the, the parks. parks. Thanks, guys.